Hey guys, I'm going to show you. Uh, well, there's. I, I've heard of a couple of problems with the uh, the optical disc drive on the Xbox One. How it's not really reading uh, uh, discs that well or movies. Um, I've experienced the same problem. First, it was just a little bit of a nuisance once in a while. Now it seems like it was it was happening for every single disc I put in there. Um, I didn't really find any solutions, but uh, I noticed that on one of my discs it looked like it the uh, it hadn't really engaged into the drive properly. So I figured I'd take it apart and tinker it around with it. Um, what I found that worked is I actually cleaned off the, uh, the rollers that feed it into the drive. Um, ever since I did that, it's been working perfectly. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this, and I'll just walk you through it right now. So I got the case off. Uh, if you don't know how to take the case off the Xbox One, uh, I'll post a link for a video that, uh, where I've already explained that. And uh, we'll get started. So first thing we're going to do is uh, number, number 9 Torx bit. We're going to take off the, uh, I think this is the wireless card for the Xbox One. So, take two screws off. This thing will pull straight off. Put that off to the side. I've got another four small screws right there. These four screws actually just hold on the uh, kind of a uh, extension for the uh, mounting bracket for this wireless card. I find it's easiest to take them off anyways. With a number 10 Torx bit, I think a number 11 might work as well. So I'm using a number 10, it seems to work. Take all these off. Wireless card is still on there. You just take the speaker off, put that off to the side. Take all these long screws out, put them off to the side. And now this thing, this metal casing, will actually just slide right off. I'm not going to bother with disconnecting all the wires just yet just to uh, show you guys the, uh, the disk drive here. Okay, the disk drive isn't actually secured with any screws either. It's just clips. Got uh, two clips right there. Spread them off, or spread them apart. Lift the drive straight upwards. Disconnect the wires. It drives out. And move all this stuff off to the side. Okay. So next thing we're going to do, we actually have to take the disk drive itself apart. What we're going to do, you're going to need a very small Phillips head screwdriver, like a uh, smaller than a one, I'd say. There's four screws on the underside of the disk drive. One in each corner. You have to actually lift up this uh, this foam tape that's underneath the uh, the front of it to expose two of the screws. Once all those are out. This thing will just uh, pop right off like that. And here's the inside of the disk drive. Now this one, I've already cleaned it. But if you look right here, across the, uh, 
the front of it, or near the front, there you go, right along here, this black roller. This thing, when I opened it up, it was absolutely filthy. So I think what was happening is that the disc wasn't really getting pushed all the way in, it was sliding a little bit, so the, uh, the motor wouldn't really engage the disc properly. So I cleaned this thing off. All I used was, uh, I had some TV screen cleaner laying around. I put some of that on a soft cloth and just gently wiped the, this roller. Turned it a little bit, wiped it some more. Basically until the entire thing was nice and clean. Once that was all done, I just put everything back together. Uh, put the Xbox back together. Basically the exact uh, reverse order that I took it apart. Um, plugged it in, powered it on, put a disc in there. And it's been working ever since. No issues. So... I hope this helps some of you guys. It definitely helped me instead of having to uh, to send the uh, the Xbox in for repairs. My warranty obviously is void because I took this thing apart, and uh, it was also void because well I bought this Xbox secondhand off a uh, off someone on eBay. So good luck me doing that. This helped me. If you guys don't want to send your Xbox in, you want to try to fix it yourself, go for it. Um, as with any electronics, be careful with it. You break it, well, it's your own fault. So, there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you learned something. And uh, I hope I helped someone with this. Take it easy, guys.